Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Take two of this video, there's a video currently uploading where I just got really annoyed and basically quite cheesed off with it. So, if, here we go, it's coming again. So, off to the supermarkets again, I hope you're all well by the way. And we are off to a brewery that I've not had a beer from for a while if I remember rightly, and it's from Siren Craft Brew, who I think are from Yorkshire Way, Leeds, somewhere like that. And this is a can of their Glowing Embers Red IPA. Beautiful artwork on the can. And the flamey bit is uh, ribbed for your pleasure, you could say. It's textured. So I do like that. Uh, it's in a 440ml can, coming in at 4.7%. And this was part of a 4 for 3 from Asda. And I think it would have been £3. Standalone price was £3. So there you go. Can there? Does it show the can any better? Maybe not really. I don't know. So let's get it cracked open. We're going it, going in uh, the all the beer no idea glass. So let's get her open, get her into the can, get her into the can, get her out of the can into the glass, and see what we get. Like I say, had a bit of a nightmare before. I did try and roll with the video. You will see it. It will be up way before this one. It will probably be uploaded before I've even finished this review. But yeah. Start to, start to lose me rag and I did try and roll with it but it didn't work. Uh, so there is a little bit left in the can, I'm going to leave a gap. It does quickly say on the back, a beautiful red IPA built with a host of rich speciality malts. We've used Simcoe, Amarillo and Centennial hops for some balancing bitterness. I'm not going to read the rest. Well, I won't tell you the rest, I've seen it already so I might as well bloody tell you. But beer in a glass. Yes, definitely got that red colour to it. The red hue down there, you could call it chestnut, but chestnut's a kind of reddy brown colour, and that is what that is looking like. It's looking nice and murky. Can't see any bubbles going up. I'm sure there's plenty going up there. We got just over a finger of mix and match, slightly off white head. I'm not going to say tan. Uh, almost jasmine, shall we say? Jasmine something. There is a paint colour called jasmine. I'm going down bloody roots of Jonathan Brown, aren't I? But it looks decent. It looks decent. So let's dive in on the nose while I'm swirling it and see what we get. Hmm, that's quite nice. You get the hops. It's got that sort of IPA aroma but not tropical it's got a kind of warmer IPA aroma I think that's coming I think the malts are kind of mixing with that and it's giving it slightly different aroma warmer sweeter maybe it's hard to I want to say caramel but not quite it's almost got a black IPA aroma in there. But it does smell nice. It smells slightly sweet, but it does smell tasty. So let's get the rest out of the can, get her into the glass and see what we get. Uh, been out the fridge for about an hour, something like that. It was in the fridge before and it's warmed up a bit, but it is still slightly chilled. Looks like a really nice beer. Let's dive in on Sirens. What's it called again? Glowing Embers Red IPA. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, it, it, it's certainly going along them lines of a black IPA for me. You, you certainly get the impression it's got some of that in it, which I suppose to a certain extent is probably not a million miles off. Four point seven. The body of the beer is quite nice. There is a little bit of weight to it. It's nice and smooth and soft when you drink it. Carbonation is there, but again, minimal. Like a lot of craft stuff really these days, it doesn't seem to be, or even a lot of beers in general, they don't seem to be too busy in the mouth.
for me, taste-wise, it's big on malt, it's big on the hops. I think it's well balanced because nothing really for me overpowers each other. So you obviously get the malt there, but you pick up just as much of the hop in the taste. There's, there's no fighting amongst each other with this. It's all there. Now you want to go off. Slightly sweet on the front end, you could say. But it's not long before that bitterness comes in. It is pretty much instant. But you do get that sweetness at the start. Sweetness at the start. It doesn't take long for the hops to kick in and give you that bitter kick. Uh, like I say, it's got that feel of sort of, I want to say caramel toffee thing going on in there. I'm not 100% convinced it is. It's quite a nice beer, really. I think that's quite nice. Uh, whether I'm warming to it more because it's a style I don't drink very often, it's certainly not anything I've reviewed too much of. This possibly only about the third time I've reviewed a red ale. Uh, but yeah, it's nice. Like I say, it's certainly got that sort of feel of a black IPA, but not one that is whacking you in the face with that dark side of it. Uh, but no, it's it's nice. A little bit different. Would I drink lots of it? Personally, I don't think I'd drink lots of it. I do like it, I do think it's a decent beer. Uh, I'd probably say I'd probably have a couple of pints of it and that'd be enough for me. But saying that, until I got to a couple of pints, I wouldn't really know. So uh, Siren Craft Brews, Glowing Embers Red IPA from Asda, uh, three pound a can. I quite like it. I think it's quite nice. I would drink another one. Would I drink lots of it? I don't really know. Uh, I think I'd probably go more sort of standard IPA sort of beer if I wanted to have a few, but certainly for a couple of pints and what have you, I'd be happy to drink that. So there's my thoughts on that beer, finally. Uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you again soon on another beer review. Cheers.